you want to give as many opportunities to your kids as you possibly can, but the fact is some guys are not going to get it as soon as others. It's unique for every individual. I, I experienced it when I went from high school to college. It all starts with the recruiting process, finding out if they're a hard worker, if they're a good teammate, and then we evaluate and say, this is a guy that we want in our program to try to make him better. I think there's a lot of pressure on these kids to do well, and it's not only from the basketball programs who throw you into a situation and say you're a freshman and survive. The process of playing college basketball is not an easy process. Coach Dunn says all the time, it's a good life, but it's, it's an extremely difficult life because you've got so many different demands. You've got additional pressures on your family. You know, everybody wants to see you do well. I took that, that one year off as a to, to better myself academically as a person and as a player, and, and, and like I said, it's paid off. If you can sit out your first year, work on your game, work on your academics, feel comfortable with your, with your teammates and, and around campus, and then have four more years to play, it's definitely going to help. Being on campus and understanding all the people you're going to meet and dealing with teachers and coaches and fellow students, all of those things certainly help in the maturation of a young man. They not only become better players in the long run because they continue to work on their skills, but they become better people. We just a year of maturing and just figuring out what it takes to play college basketball, and I think, I mean, that, that year can be beneficial. I can just look back on those times and see that those times, they, like, made me into a better person and a better player. They face some adversity um, in early adulthood, and, and, and they've learned to deal with that. Um, while not losing confidence, not quitting on a situation. I think it's like anything else in life. Uh, you just got to keep working. Your opportunity will come, your time will come. Uh, just stay consistent, figure out what it is that's going to help it, your niche at this level so that you can build that trust in, in Coach Dumpy. So he says, you know what, this guy's doing a great job. He deserves more minutes. Yeah, hold up. Good play, Mike. Good finish. You got to prepare for next year. You got to play minutes. I got a chance to practice with the team, and every time, you know, I had a time to go in the gym and, and, and work on my game, try to better myself and get prepared for the following year because I knew I'd be out there playing. I actually redshirted because I got injured. I had a stress fracture in my ankle. But while I was injured, a lot of the time I was on watching practice side of the court, taking like the specifics of the game, seeing it from a different angle. I think. That really helped. I can see things that help me get better as a player and help me get minutes, you know, according to coach. And I think I just saw a lot and, you know, learned a lot from the players that was out there getting the minutes, too. All you had to do was check him out, get here, you go rebound, and we're off to the races, and you won't ever get beat with the ball going over your head. He needs to trust you on the court that you won't make silly mistakes. To earn Coach Dunphy's trust, the player has to pay attention to detail. He has to play hard. What you're doing every single day is giving them feedback. Here we go. It really helps not only the offensive team, but the defensive team too. And I think that's really helped everybody on the team develop. Every time they drive it down the court and they make a move, and they have a dribble or they lean in to try to draw a foul or they're not in the right spot defensively, the feedback is immediate. Now hold up, hold up. That's one thing, but your recovery was nowhere. You're going to recover to the rim at that point. When we're trying to develop players, we uh, take on Coach Dunphy's approach to it. Uh, he is a perfectionist. He wants every kid to do everything right, every single possession. So that's our approach as well. You got to sprint back here and get in position so you can blast that screen. You want to be the best player you can be, so you have to do whatever it takes to be the best player. And at that moment, whatever it takes is listening, just listening to what he has to say. You will never, ever be successful unless you say to yourself, that was my fault, I did a bad job in my preparation. We're going to try to push guys to be the best they can be and not settle for mediocrity and not settle for anything less than their best. That's not what we, we do in the Division I world. You're going to get bumped. It's a physical game. Be better on your body control and don't give up that possession. Of course, you're going to have uh, some years where you have an exceptionally talented freshman who, who's able to step in and, and really contribute to the team, you're not going to hold them back from, from achieving that success or contributing to the team if, if that's the case. LaVoy did a great job of keeping balls alive. We got some second chance opportunities. We had nine offensive rebounds. I came in as a freshman and you know, I started playing right away. I knew my situation coming in because, you know, Deion Dickens was a starting center. The year before I was here and he was graduating.
Lavoy, his basketball IQ is great, and I think he was able to impact and help the team. As soon as he came into the university, Coach Dump saw something in him. Everybody's dream is to play the whole game, but coming in as a freshman in a winning program, uh, I just take any minute, any second that I get on the court. So when it is time for me and the older guys leave, uh, I'll be able to fill that role. Aaron Brown is a lucky guy. You know, he plays a lot as a freshman. Oh, chip what you got, baby. I can see that Coach Dunphy sees something in him and better Aaron Brown as a player and as a person in this university. He can be patient and, and just stay with it every day. He'll get some minutes now, and then again, hopefully he can be playing in an established program that does well. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! I think that coaches just want to put the best program out on the court. There is no set rule, but it's, I think it's nice to replace somebody who is an upperclassman who's had a great career for you with somebody who has some experience. I think in an ideal situation, you have a, a, a veteran team, an experienced team, and knows what it takes to try and win. If you can have two, three guys in each class, then you have a pretty good program established that every year when you lose somebody, you have someone else to step in and come in and help your program.